I've received quite a few messages, emails, even comments in our videos asking why we went to a fifth wheel from a travel trailer. And I thought on our drive home today, I would share with you some of the big reasons that we made that change. Woo! Hey everyone, my name's Patrick, and if you're new here, I'm really glad you stopped by. For those of you who've never been here before, we have been RVing now for about 19 years, and we've owned 11 different RVs, ranging from a 13-foot teardrop all the way up to a 35-foot fifth wheel, and currently we have a 27-foot Alliance Avenue fifth wheel. Now, about nine months ago, we switched from a Lance travel trailer that was 23 feet to this 27-foot fifth wheel, and I wanted to go through some of the difference between the fifth wheel and a travel trailer and why we made the decision to go back to a fifth wheel. And the first reason really has to do with living space. Our Lance 23 foot travel trailer actually only gave us about 20 feet of usable space because in that calculation, a little over three feet was tongue and there's nothing at the tongue in terms of living space. With this 27 foot Alliance Avenue, basically all 27 feet is usable space. And so we literally went up four feet in total length, but we ended up getting about seven feet of usable space. And that's really one of the main reasons we wanted to go back. Now, the second thing that also deals with the link differential is we went up by about four feet, but because we went from a travel trailer to a fifth wheel, our total length is just about identical. The reason for that is a travel trailer attaches to the bumper in essence or the hitch of your tow vehicle. And so all of that 23 feet was behind us. But with a fifth wheel, the pin of the fifth wheel is actually going in the bed of your tow vehicle. And so in our case, we were around 44 feet with that Lance travel trailer with the fifth wheel where a good three feet or more is in the bed of our truck we're still at about 44 feet length. So even though we went up in length of RV, the total length of our unit really stayed just about the same. Now in terms of hitching up and unhitching, what are the differences? Well, I think in terms of the actual hitching and unhitching, there really is not much of a difference. Now, when I had to hitch up to a travel trailer, you're backing up, you pretty much have to be right on or within maybe plus or minus a half an inch so that that coupler will sit down on the ball of your hitch. So you have to be fairly accurate, but in our case, I could use the camera on the truck to have a pretty good idea. The other thing is with hitching to the ball, you had to be not only perfect left to right, but you also had to be perfect front to back. Now, with the fifth wheel, I still have to be you know, right on left to right. Although I always feel like that tolerance from left to right is a little bit greater with a fifth wheel and a fifth wheel hitch. There seems to be a little bit more leeway. But you really don't have to worry about front to back because once you start to lock into your fifth wheel, it is going to stop. And if I set the bar on our fifth wheel hitch in the right location, it will actually lock itself. So I guess I would give the edge to hitching up to the fifth wheel. To me, it's just a little bit easier than having to be spot on with a traditional coupler and ball hitch system. Now, another thing that I really like about the fifth wheel over travel trailers is the fact that we don't have to use any kind of additional weight distribution system. So with a travel trailer, you typically are going to be running bars or we were running the Anderson weight distribution system. It's just one more thing to hook up when you're hitching up. And it's also one more thing to take off when you're unhitching. And so with the fifth wheel, I just back into the hitch, lock it into place, and that's pretty much it. So I do like that. Because you're putting that pin weight in the bed of your truck versus on the end of your truck, it just tows so much better than a travel trailer. With a travel trailer, you do have to worry about sway, that movement from left to right that you get. Do I feel movement with the fifth wheel? Most of the time, no. In fact, many times I get in a groove of just driving along and I forget it's back there. That's how smooth a fifth wheel tows. Now, today we are in some pretty gusty winds. So I am feeling those winds against the fifth wheel. 
And I think part of that is fifth wheels tend to be a little bit taller than travel trailers. And that's something you want to consider when deciding which is best for you. With our Lance, I believe we were somewhere in the neighborhood of about 12 feet in total height. Our fifth wheel, on the other hand, is pushing 13.5, 13.6. So when we are towing, we have to think about clearances on things like bridges, overhangs, gas stations. If you saw our travels from this past summer, you know we had a situation where we went into a gas station that just didn't clear, and we ended up having to replace our bedroom AC on this fifth wheel. But it also means possibly that could affect you with high winds that you're just a little bit taller. But where the tallness really comes in is on the inside. Our fifth wheel just honestly feels so much bigger on the inside because of those elevated ceilings versus the travel trailer that had a flat roof across and just didn't have near the height. And so we really like having the little bit taller unit from that standpoint. It just seems bigger on the inside. As far as towing gas mileage wise, we are getting probably about a mile to a mile and a half less pulling the fifth wheel than we did the travel trailer. With the fifth wheel, sometimes I could get between nine to 10 and a half miles to the gallon. With the fifth wheel so far, we've been averaging closer to eight to maybe nine, nine and a half if I get really lucky and everything's going well, no wind, flat surface, warm temperatures, that type of thing. So we probably lost a little bit in terms of miles per gallon, but everything that we've gained really far outweighs that. A much more comfortable towing experience just had a semi fly around me with the Lance travel trailer. I would have been white knuckling it most likely trying to hold on even with the Anderson, which did a great job with sway control. You still would feel it. That semi came around me. I didn't even put a second hand on the wheel because it just didn't influence us. And I think that was really one of the driving reasons I wanted to go back to a fifth wheel was it's just a really enjoyable towing experience compared to you know a travel trailer. In terms of backing, I don't know that there's a ton of difference, but what I will say is the pivot point is different because again, with the travel trailer, it's attached to the hitch, where with the fifth wheel, that pin is in the bed of our truck. With the travel trailer, I always felt like it would take off a little quicker, where with this, I feel like there's a little less takeoff in terms of making the turn. And so I can't say that I prefer one over the other. Now, you might think that with a fifth wheel, you have to be concerned about the backing radius in terms of how tight can you turn it, and you do, because in our case, we have a, I believe it's a six foot or six and a half foot bed, and so I'm always concerned that if I crank it too tight, I do not want to bust the windshield out of our truck. But in nine months with this RV and with our old fifth wheel we owned for eight years, never did I ever, knock on wood, have an issue with turning so tight that we did damage to the truck. Unfortunately, with a travel trailer, which many people I think think that you don't have to worry about that, that's actually not true. A couple years ago when we were in Vermont, I don't know what it is about the state of Vermont and me with travel trailers or fifth wheels, but I was trying to make a really tight turn into a campsite and ended up busting the tail light out on our Toyota Tundra. So I think with both, you do need to be concerned with how tight you can crank um, when you're backing in or pulling out of a site. Um, and like I said, for me, my perception on it, and it may be different than other people's, but with the travel trailer, it just seemed like I could start cranking a lot quicker and getting the trailer to move. Where with the fifth wheel, it's a little bit more of a gentle um, crank in or back in situation. And so honestly, it's really for me personally, it's pretty much a toss up. I can adapt to either one. In terms of setup, you know, once you're hitched or unhitched, it's pretty much all the same between the two units. There's not a real difference. Our Lance had auto uh, jacks where I just push buttons. This fifth wheel has not only the auto jacks, but it has the auto leveling. But again, those are just features that you could get on either of the units. So that really is a wash there. I think the real big difference for us and why we're so happy with having a fifth wheel again is it's more space in the same size package 
and the fact that it's just a more enjoyable towing experience. So let me know, have you towed both a fifth wheel and a travel trailer? Which do you prefer? And if I didn't answer your question or you have more questions, drop them down below in the comments and I'll try to respond and give you the answers if I know what they are. You didn't see the whole video where we had the incident with the AC. I'm gonna have you watch that one somewhere up here. I don't remember which side it's gonna be on. And until next time, everybody, we'll see ya on down the road. Bye. Gotta keep my eyes on the road.